and welcome to this new section of our Git course. In this section, we'll talk about one important topic, using subproject when working with Git. We will see both the approaches that are possible with Git. The first one is uh, Git submodules, and we will see with submodules how we can add the submodules to our project, how we can update the dependency from the main repository, and how we can keep the submodules up to date. Then we will see the second approach that is called the Git subtree, and we will see how we can add a subtree to our main repository and how we can keep this subtree up to date with the main repository. Let's start with our first video. In this video, we'll start with a short introduction of the cases of when we need to use a Git submodule. Then we will continue learning how we can add a submodule to our project and how can we update this submodule directly when we work into the main repository. And to conclude this video, we'll see also how we can keep the submodules updated with the respective uh, mainstream repositories. Working with the subproject is a really common way of working. It doesn't matter if you are a mobile developer or front-end developer or some other type of developer, but probably you are working on a project and you have this main repository that stores all your code. But probably you are also needed some kind of a libraries, so maybe some JavaScript libraries or some uh, resources that you have, maybe stored in some uh, other Git repository. And uh, of course, you don't want to just copy and paste these dependencies into your main repository, because this will easily become a mess every time that you want to update the dependency. So you need a way of integrating this two Git repository into one single Git repository. And this is exactly what Git submodules does. Basically, with Git submodules, you can have one Git repository inside another Git repository, so you will work in one single project, but you can still manage the two Git repository in a different way. To prepare this video, I created the two repository on GitHub. The first one is called the master repo, and as you can imagine, this will become our master repository. And the second one is called the sub repo. And as well, as you can imagine here, this will be the sub modules. To start, let's clone the main repository. So I will go to the master repo. I will copy the URL of this repository. And then I will open my terminal and I will clone this repository. Now that we have our working copy, we need to go inside this folder. And now we can add the submodules. To add the submodules, we need to use the git submodules command. And the git submodules, as well as most of the git commands, has several subcommands. And the one that we need to use in this case is the add subcommand. So the, the full command is git submodules add. And then we need to specify the URL of the repository that we want to use as a submodules that in this case is this one, but sub -reap. What this command does, this command is create a sub modules into the project and automatically clones the URL that we provided into a subfolder of our project. So if we check now the file system and we have a folder that is called sub repo, and if we go inside this folder, the content of this folder is exactly the content of the repository. If we run now a git status, we can see that there are two changes that are already in the stage area, so are basically ready to be committed. And the first one is a new file that is called the dot, it's a hidden file, git models. Let's see what is the content of this file. So this file contains the information of the submodules that we just had. It contains the path and the URL of the submodules that we just added. The second change is, of course, the new folder that was created, this folder sub repo. The strange thing about this folder is that it doesn't appear to be like a folder, so not all the files that are inside this folder are ready to be committed, only the folder itself. So even if we do a git diff command, git diff minus minus cache, we don't see here the file that are inside the sub repo folder. This because Git knows that that folder is a sub modules and it just commits the folder itself and do not commit to the content of that folder. I would also suggest to add another option to the git diff command to better understand if you have some diff related to the sub modules. So I will just 
re-executed the previous command, and that will append another option that says minus minus sub module. And here we can see a better description of what are the changes into the sub modules. In this case, we have a new sub module. We can commit our changes. And we can, of course, we can push. So one of the benefits of adding a submodule is that we can update the dependency directly from the main repository. So first of all, let me show that at this moment we have no pending changes. Now, if we go inside the folder that is related to the submodule, we can do a small change and we can push directly from the submodule folder. We did a commit, we need to push. Now, if we step back and we go into the main repo folder and we executed the git status command here, we see here some changes that we need to commit. This because git keeps track of the SHA-1 of the commit that is inside the sub repo folder. So every time that we change the commit inside that folder, we need to update the main repository. In this case, we just need to. to had and commit and of course push.